okay let us go to the next topic and the next very interesting topic is terminal value method what is this terminal value method so what is the terminal value method with the help of one problem i'll explain you what is terminal method but before that try to understand what we are doing okay so here we are starting with one project so this is the life of project okay this is year 0 this is year 1 this is year 2 this is year 3 this is year 4 this is year 5 so imagine when you put money in a bank fixed deposit today you went to bank and you have put money in bank fixed deposit that fixed deposit will yield interest to you so here you will get interest 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 and here you will get interest so what will you do with this interest if you are not withdrawing this interest this is automatically compounded and reinvested up to the end of maturity so simple a fixed deposit for five years you opened a fixed deposit for five years you have opened at the end of first year some interest is credited to fixed deposit you are not withdrawing it so that will go till the maturity so second year interest also will go to the maturity third year interest also will go to the maturity fourth year interest also will go to the maturity so this can be reinvested for four years this can be reinvested for three years this can be reinvested for two years this can be reinvested for one year last year interest cannot be reinvested because the project is over fifth year interest cannot be reinvested why at the end of fifth year you will get your maturity money back so these reinvestments are there no they will happen at some six percent eight percent ten percent whatever they said in the question is this will be reinvested so what happens this principal amount this interest one interest two interest three interest four interest five okay all these things put together you will take everything to t5 t5 means terminal terminal means ending what is the meaning of terminal terminal means ending so you are taking all these numbers you are calculating future values and you are going to t5 then from t5 you will discount this and you will come back to the present value then you compare the value with the initial investment then you understand whether i am getting more money or whether i am losing money this is another technique in capital budgeting not frequently followed very rarely followed but in our syllabus it is included that is the reason we are solving one problem so this is the theory i have explained with the help of problem you understand it very easily okay with the help of a problem you understand very easily more or less mirr concept is also same okay shall we look at a problem yes look at this problem following information is available from xyz limited regarding a project initial outlay 2 lakhs project life is 5 years net cash flow every year you are getting 80,000 each year for 5 years cost of capital is 10 percent expected rates of interest are first year 6 percent second year 6 percent third year 8 percent fourth year 8 percent evaluate the proposal using terminal value method evaluate the proposal using terminal value method okay this is the question so shall we do it put the heading in your notes statement showing calculation of statement showing calculation of terminal value statement showing calculation of terminal value statement showing calculation of terminal value okay so look here statement showing calculation of terminal value so here we write 1 2 3 4 5 okay cash flows cash flows every year you will get 80000 cash flow correct 80000 every year you are getting 80000 okay so this 80000 can it be reinvested yes rate of return is given rate of return or interest rate you call 
6688 okay so 6688 so there is there seems to be a typing mistake fifth year also it should be 8% but anyway fifth year you cannot do reinvestment so we take 8% so here 6% 6% as given in the question 8% 8% 8% 8% okay this is the rate of return okay now very important here period of reinvestment so how many years i can reinvest this so at the end of first year at the end of first year i have received 80000 okay at the end of first year i have received 80000 now you tell me this 80000 how many years i can reinvest okay remember this diagram remember this diagram first year at the end of first year you got 80000 this can be reinvested till the end of the project that means four years you can reinvest so for the sake of your clarity again i am showing you look here this is the timeline this is year t0 this is year t1 this is t2 this is t3 this is t4 this is t5 t is nothing but time zone that means year so here you received 80000 this 80000 can be reinvested up to this that means this reinvestment period is 4 years at the end of second year you get 80000 this can be reinvested for 3 years here you will get 80000 this can be reinvested for 2 years at the end of fourth year you get 80000 this can be reinvested for 1 year at the end of fifth year you get 80000 that cannot to be reinvested because your project tenure is over you understand you understand so years of reinvestment tell me 4 years here four next 3 years next 2 years next 1 year next 0 years so here i'll write future value factor why future value factor because my dear friend you are not bringing them to present value you are taking them to future value at the end of first year you are getting 80000 you are reinvesting it up to 5 years next 4 years okay now can you calculate and tell me what is the factor i should write here i am highlighting this with a color you tell me how much should i put in that colored cell you think and tell me future value factor you remember future value factors is equal to present value into 1 plus i whole power n so for 1 rupee it is 1 into 1 plus interest whole power n so take calculator i am explaining you how to calculate factor 1.06 1.06 into 1.06 into 1.06 into 1.06 four times if you do you will get 1.262 so here you will get 1.262 that means if you invest 1 rupee for four years at 6% you will get 1.262 rupees imagine you went to a bank and you have deposited 1 rupee interest rate is 6% after 4 years when you go the bank will give you 1.262 rupees back simple so now for 3 years 1.06 into 1.06 into 1.06 so you will get 1.191 1.191 next 2 years 8% so take 1.08 into 1.08 how much it is 1.1664 1.1 664 next 8% only one year 1.08 next no reinvestment so one is one no reinvestment so one rupees one rupees so that 80000 rupees cannot be reinvested okay now terminal values terminal values so 
take 80,000 into 1.262. So like that calculate all terminal values. Now you will get the total terminal value of the cash flows. Total terminal values at the end of year 5. At the end of year 5. At the end of year 5, 455,952 rupees will come. So what is the present value? What is the present value of rupees 4,55,952 that will be received at the end of year 5? What is the interest rate given in the question? Read the question. What is the interest rate? Cost of capital 10%. So, so at 10% calculate 1 divided by 1.1. First year 0 0.909. Second year 0 0.826. Third year 0 0.751. Fourth year 0 0.683. Fifth year 0 0.621. Sixth year 0 0.621. It's 0 0.621. Into four five five nine five two that is equal to okay. Calculate point six two one into four lakh fifty five thousand nine fifty two that is two lakhs eighty three one forty six rupees two lakhs eighty three one hundred and forty six rupees. So present value of terminal flows is equal to two. 83146 present value of cash outflows today is 2 lakhs since present value of terminal flows are higher the project can be accepted this is the conclusion we are making this is the conclusion we are making very interesting question in this question what we are doing try to understand the process what we are doing Simple, I'll tell you. Step 1. Step 1. Calculate terminal flows. How to calculate each year whatever the cash flow comes will be reinvested at a given rate till year N. At the end. Till the end we'll reinvest. Add all the terminal flows. This is your step 1 value. Step 2. Calculate the present value of terminal flows using discount factor at cost of capital given. Step 3. If present value of terminal flow is higher than present value of cash outflow, accept the project. This is the process. So try to understand the technique. What is the summary? One, calculate terminal flows. How to calculate terminal flows? Every year, whatever the cash flow comes, they will give you reinvestment rate. So with that rate, reinvest cash flows till the end. Then you will get terminal flow at the end of the life. Then bring that to the T0, to the uh, today's term, present value. Okay, then compare the present value of terminal flow and the present value of cash outflow if present value of terminal flow is higher the project can be accepted that's it so you understand interesting technique no you understand this